Hello, my name is Caleb Parkin. I'm a poet and I'm one of the commissioned artists on the Royal Albert Memorial Museum Exeter Queering the Museum project. And I wanted just to talk to you about sand. Uh, I'm on my green screen and so you can see here behind me a load of close-ups of sand because I've been thinking about this with this project. Um, looking through the catalogue of the, the RAM Museum, R-A-M-M, uh, I found these samples of sand, which I found really fascinating in themselves. And then doing some more research about it, discovered that they were donated to Ram's collections by Ivor Treby, who was himself a poet who was gay and a biochemist, so really interested in things like sand. And on his travels, he collected all of this sand. Um, and then I discovered from talking to Ellie at the museum that there was also a spreadsheet of the sand that was rejected. And for some reason, I just, that really spoke to me. And so I asked for the spreadsheet. Uh, so, and what the spreadsheet does is, is gives you descriptions of each of the sands that the museum didn't want, and I think were disposed of. So they're the kind of remnant of something unwanted, which was itself a kind of remnant of all of these rocks and shells and whatever else sand is made up of. And um, actually there's a kind of, let me just find it. There's another little, close up of sand here just to give you a sense of why sand I think is so interesting. Here it is and it's just like you can see tiny bits of quartz and all sorts of other stuff in there. Sand is really fascinating. <laughs> um, and then what that's become is perhaps this digital sand, this lost, uh, this rejected sand spreadsheet which I've got here. And all I wanted to share with you today was the descriptions of the sand. This is like a found poem so it's me as a poet looking out for what's already there and I'm just going to read them to you because they've got a kind of uh, shipping forecast quality I think there is already a poetry in these descriptions so I've got it on my other screen I'm just going to read them to you this is from the spreadsheet of rejected gay sand for Ivor Treby 1933 to 2012 some of whose sand was accepted file 36 Roman Therme Varna Bulgaria Charcoal, oyster fragments, translucent, transparent, angular to rounded, dark brown, ashy matrix, prefarmium ash at hypercoarsed level. File 130, Barson in Beth, uh, bleh, Barson, Basin in Bathhouse, Salamis ruins, Farmagusta, Cyprus. Charcoal, sparse, Echinoid spine fragments, gypsum, angular terracotta, pottery fragments up to five millimeters, greenish glass, an assortment suggesting construction slash demolition, debris, some marine sand. File 129, kiosk of Trajan, Philae temple complex, Agilkia, Egypt. Sparse charcoal, some alluvial, some aeolian, feldspar reddish, translucent to opaque, orthoclase, form of some grains controlled by cleavage, as one granite, the island of Agilkia on which the temple now stands. File 165, altar of earth spirit, Machu Picchu, Peru. Misc, recent plant and mollusk debris, biotite, sparse light brown cleavage plates, subangular pebble, mic mineral, min, I can't say that, <laughs> mic mineralogy corresponds with the granite rock of Machu Picchu, weakly cemented soil like clumps could indicate the material sampled is not in situ. It's that mistrust of the last sample in the description that um, I go into in the poem. Uh, and I think it's that one that I'm going to share at the online event uh, later this month. So I hope to see you there and uh, we'll talk more about this, uh, this uh, remarkable spreadsheet behind me. Cheers.